radio frequency classes in this today's video i'll be explaining about the current and voltage relation for a pn junction diode it means iv characteristics of a pn junction diode so initially i will briefly explain the diode characteristics for ideal and practical case and further we will see that in the simulation using the lt spice how it works and whether we are getting the same relation or not so as we can see here i have drawn a circuit in which i have connected a diode with a power supply input voltage so as we know the diode is a pn junction p type of material and n type of materials are sandwiched and we are making a unidirectional device in which current flows in one direction only not in the in the direction so when i have connected the positive terminal with the p terminal of the diode and negative with the n terminal of the diode and the moment the cut in voltage across this diode so we know that there is certain threshold voltage or electric field which induced certain potential here so we have to supply more than this voltage so there are two type of material generally used one is silicon another one is the germanium so for germanium it is 0.3 volt and for silicon it is approximately 0.7 volt so more than that voltage if we we'll apply the current will flow from this p to n terminal okay so that is called as a forward bias condition and when i'll reverse it then there will not be a current flow at that time ideally this circuit should be as a open circuit and in the forward direction it should be short circuit ideally so as you can see here the ideal case in the forward bias this maximum current should flow at zero potential itself at zero vd when voltage across the diode is zero there should be a maximum current flow and in the reverse direction there should not be any current flow even though we are increasing the potential so in the reverse bias so ideally feel say the characteristics will look like this only it will follow the coordinates in this way but in the practical case it is not so we have a forward bias characteristics and the reverse bias characteristics in the forward bias as you can see here the vth this vth is nothing but the threshold voltage also it is called as a knee voltage so this threshold voltage or knee voltage depends upon what kind of material is used in the diode whether it is silicon or germanium so once this vth is surpassed by this supply it means this v in is greater than the vth the diode current will flow exponentially it is a non linear device so we have a current equation id is equal to is exponential e to the power vd diode voltage divided by n times vt n is the factor it depends upon the material generally it is 1 and for certain material it is 2 so here we will be considering it as a 1 for silicon and germanium and vt is the thermal voltage which depends upon three parameter k which is boltzmann constant t is the room temperature and q is the charge on electron so knowing all these parameter which is well defined we will get the thermal voltage which is equivalent to 25.87 millivolt mostly we will take it as a 26 millivolt this vt and this is the reverse saturation current which is already defined for the diodes so knowing all these parameter we can find out the diode current and as we can see from this equation this current should flow exponentially in this manner and with this knowing the vd and the current id we can find out the resistance value at that particular instance so this is called as a static resistance or dc resistance if you are applying the ac supply we should find out the two points in this axis and two point in this axis and the difference of this vd two values and this id two values and then take the ratio that will be dynamic resistance or also called as a ac resistance of the diode so there are two resistance and in the reverse direction there is a small amount of current flow due to magnetic carriers it will be in the nano ampere or pico amperes 
and this forward current if you'll see it will be in the milli amperes it means after this 0.7 or 0.3 volt if you are taking a point on this graph corresponding to this if you'll see the current it should be in the milli ampere micro ampere range but in the reverse direction it should be in the nano ampere or pico ampere range and also for light doping as we know that in the diode we do the dopings so depending upon the light or higher doping we can have the breakdown voltage so when it is lightly doped we have the larger value of the reverse breakdown voltage and for the zener diode if you see there this breakdown voltage will be smaller value because it will be heavily doped and due to which we have the tunneling effect and we have the lower value of the breakdown voltage so generally in the practical case if you see the software simulation we can't see this reverse breakdown but at least we can see this current flow what amount of current is flowing and this side we can see the current and voltage relation by defining proper dc sweep in the lt spice so now we'll show the same graph in the lt spice fine so here we can see the circuit as you can see i have connected a diode with a small amount of resistance and a voltage source supply in the lt spice so if you want to learn the all the basics how to connect all these things how to define all the parameters of the resistor voltage supply or diode you can watch the video which is of the basic learning of the lt spice in the same playlist so when we are going for this diode just we have to select this point click it here we'll get a diode you can place like this so as then we should press the escape button to get free from this selection as i have selected already one diode so that's why it is a d2 after this we have to right click from the mouse and then pick new diode this kind of library will be opened up here we have a lot of diodes so you can select either 1n914 or 1n4148 which is the silicon type diode it it is having 75 volt of breakdown voltage and 0.2 ampere of current which is the limitation of this diode so you can select any one so if i'll press okay now see this diode is defined as 1n914 so as already i have it here so i'll delete this select this cut option and delete it and then again you should press the escape button and then for register simply we know that from here if you click we will get the register so you click this point and then press control r to rotate this and then place it here and define the value of this register as a 100 ohm or 10 ohm it's up to us we can control the current flowing through the diode by increasing the value then select this component option and type here VOL voltage source so once you type VOL itself it comes and select this press ok then you can place it here this voltage source and then right click here and assign certain values this value should be more than the threshold voltage of the diode then press ok so now this voltage source is defined here of 10 volt resistance is defined with 100 ohm and diode is defined then select a ground from here and then place it because it's a standard defined here without ground it will be acting as a floating circuit and you won't get the result there will be some error so always place a ground in the circuit then this is the option of level net select this one and define here some voltage across which we are going to find out so as you can see here already have defined as a vd so you can select this and type here vd this way once you press okay now you are cursor is ready to place anywhere you can place it here and define the vd so this way your voltage at this terminal will be defined after this we have to go to simulate option edit simulation command and as we need the relation between the current and voltage we have to select the option of dc sweep okay first source define the voltage source what you have defined here v1 write v1 here select the sweep as a linear start value i have selected here minus 10 and stop value i have selected here as a 5 volt increment of 0.1 volt so here we can select any values minus 20 minus 30 like that but stop value should be more than the threshold voltage of the diode means 0.7 volt more than that 
so we can select this value after this so once you select all this this kind of sweep will be defined here once it is defined then also you can define the transient analysis for what time period you want so you can define it here already it is defined for 60 millisecond but it, this one is for the checking the uh, another values there is no role right now so with the dc sweep itself we can check the relation of current and voltage source after this once everything is defined we have to click on this run button so when a circuit is simulated you can see that i have given the range of minus 10 to 5 so it is defined from minus 10 volt to 5 volt now if i want to see the current across this diode so we have to bring cursor near to the diode this kind of symbol should be there once we'll click it we can see the current is flowing through the diode but right now it is defined as the current and voltage relation for this source so we have to bring the cursor near this graph right click and define here what net listing we have given so capital V inside the bracket we have given a small v and a small d brackets closed press ok then now you can see proper exponential graph is there if you won't define this voltage v of vd which is defined here net listing voltage then it is showing the relation for this voltage source which was linear but now we are having the exponential graph so you can see approximately after point 5 to point 6 volt the current is exponentially increasing in the forward bias direction so we have a proper relation between the current and voltage you can see here 40 to 45 milliampere current is flowing in the forward direction so if we want to find out the resistance what is the resistance at particular point for this case double click here near this i d1 which is defined if you double click we have the marker so now you can bring this marker and you can place at any point once you place it here suppose i am placing nearby this point then you can read here for 657 millivolt it means 0.65 volt the current is approximately 4.7 milliampere so you will take the ratio of these two you will get the resistance which is dc resistance of the diode at particular this point so you can see that if we are again we can shift this marker and we can check whatever value we want to see that corresponding to this we can see now if i am increasing it then at this point you can see the voltage is 760 millivolt and current is 32 milliampere so again the ratio if you take the resistance will be low that's why current value is higher so this way we can verify this after this if you want to see the reverse bias characteristics as i told you that breakdown we can't see but at least we can see the what is the current flowing in the reverse bias condition so what we'll do is we'll go to this dc sweep right click here and define this is stop value till 0 volt only so now we are going to plot the graph from 0 to minus 10 volt and we'll set ok and then run so you can see here now it is 0 volt and this is also 0 ampere so you can see this side current is going in minus direction but it is in nano ampere approximately minus 2.4 nano ampere is the constant saturation current is flowing which is nothing but this one this blue color graph constant current so this way we can draw the iv characteristics relation for the given diode in next video i will explain the gina diode iv characteristics if you like the content kindly subscribe and share the video thank you for tuning to the radio frequency classes